Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to automate making wax. Uh, now wax is something that's uh, not used on many different items in Sky Factory 4, uh, but it's used for some decorational components like candles and things. And this was specifically requested by a viewer, uh, so I wanted to put something together since ask for it. Now, if you find uh, this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. Most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell. That way you can see all our videos, tutorials, and streams as they come out. All right. So, a couple of things we're going to need to automate this in the most simple way possible. We're going to start by getting a market. Um, so, a market is going to be five oak woods or woods of your choice two planks, and a red wool. Also going to need an apiary. Apiary is going to be three wood on the bottom, three on the top, and then two planks. The last thing you're going to need is an energized smelter. Energized smelter is going to be four redstone, two glass, a steel casing, and two basic control circuits. So, the Energized Smelter is probably the most advanced component in this setup. Um, it's still not too hard to put together. A uh, steel casing is just going to be some steel, a piece of osmium, and some stained gla or some glass. Um, and then, to get your basic control unit, you're going to put redstone and osmium in a metallurgic infuser. So, again, easy process as I've covered in other tutorials, but you will need those to put together your Energized Smelter. Then you're going to need a few other basic, easy to get hold of items. You'll need some chests, some item extraction cables, and at least one stack of poppies. Okay. Grab those items here, and then we'll grab the three we've already looked at. All right. So you're also going to need an RF power source. In this situation, uh, I've got a mineral battery being powered by an outside source to an energy extraction cable. Any RF power source will work. Generator, solar, reactor, however you want to set that up. But you're going to want to put your energized smelter connected to the power. That's the only thing in this process that's going to need electricity. Then, two spots to the left, you're going to drop a chest. Two spots to the right, you're going to drop another chest. That extraction cable, you're going to put on the side going into that chest. This side, you're going to put it from the chest going into the side. As you can see, this one connected both sides. This one didn't. So we're going to have to do a little bit of configuration. We're going to energize smelter, click up here on the side config, and we're going to turn this block here, the left side block, to an input block. Okay? So that's going to allow those to connect when items have reasons to go through. If you, want, you can put the cable on afterwards. If you'd rather set the configuration first, either one will work. Now that you've got that powered, anything going in this chest will come into your smeltery and cook, and then we'll go into this chest as a finished product. So we need our apiary next. So uh, you can put, you need the apiary to be two blocks above your chest. I just put an apiary there just to give you an example of the space. Then you're going to put another item extraction cable underneath going into that first chest on the left. The apiary is what makes our first component. Okay? But in order to get that component, we're going to need bees. That's why we have a market. Drop our market. Uh, you're not going to see a little market guy drop down here. I have a glass shield over top, seam land, just so uh, rain doesn't fall in the tutorials. But the market still works whether he's there or not. We need bees. So if you go all the way down to the bottom of your market, you'll see B is at the bottom. And that a bee costs eight poppy. Our stack of poppies. We're going to get eight bees. So the more bees you have, the faster it's going to produce. You're going to put your bees in your apiary. Now, basically what's going to happen is over time, those bees are going to make a honeycomb. And honeycomb is what cooks into wax. Take a look at wax real quick. Go to the JI and we pull up wax. Here we have it, beeswax and honeycomb. So when you look at our beeswax, you have to cook honeycomb to get beeswax. Now. This should all be set up automatically now. So as this right here, our honeycomb goes into our apiary, it will be pulled down. As you can see, it's now being cooked in the energized smelter. And it will come over into this side as wax when it is finished. There it is, we have beeswax. 
So again, a very easy setup to automate. Your exit can be going into any type of uh, storage that you like, a filing cabinet, have it wirelessly going to another chest into a simple storage, into a crate, into an AE, however you want to do that. But once this is set up, as long as your smeltery has power, this will continue to make beeswax forever. <laughs> It'll never run out. And as you can see, we bought eight bees and now there's nine because every cycle you're going to create more bees until it gets up to 64. So if you can only afford a few at first, that's fine. They will eventually fill up 64. And when that happens, uh, it'll make the uh, honeycomb even faster. Now, the reason we have it set up like this is that if you try to put the extraction cable on the sides, it will not pull the honeycomb out. Uh, it may pull out the bee. Uh, and you don't want that to happen. If you put it on top, I've had it only pull out the B. So you need to have it coming out of the bottom in order for it to just pull the honeycomb and not mess with your bees at all. But then you can, if you want, run this directly into the smelter. You don't have to use the chest as a mediary. I like to use the chest uh, just because I find it flows a little bit easier. And for some reason, this starts producing honeycomb faster than it's smelting. I'll have extra build up here. You can also go into your smelter, to your upgrades option. You can add some speed um, upgrades up to eight of those and eight power upgrades so that it goes faster and uses less, less RF per tick. But as you can see, our beeswax is building up. And now you can use beeswax to make all, all sorts of things. Basically two things. You can make the golden candle and the iron candle. Really all that it's used for. Um, but they are very pretty little, uh, in fact, let me go ahead and grab some of those. We'll show you what they look like. Candle. Here's an iron candle, right? Iron candle. There's our golden candle. And we'll grab ourselves a flint and steel. So with these candles, you can set them down on tables and items. As you can see, they burn. Uh, in some situations, they won't. You can light them <laughs> yourself. Uh, here in Creative, they're going to light automatically. But uh, they're a pretty little thing if you're doing something kind of uh, gothic or, or medieval. Uh, it's a cool little item to have. Uh, but that's really all that you're going to use the beeswax for. Um, but I've had a couple people ask for a way to automate this process. So I wanted to put that together for you guys fast. Uh, but that is going to do it for this tutorial. Pretty easy one today. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please be sure to put those down in the comments section, and I'll do my best to get back with you as quickly as I can, as well as if you have any suggestions or recommendations for other tutorials you'd like to see, much like this one, you can put that down in there as well. You can also go to my website, onlydraven.com. Down at the bottom of that homepage is a place that you can submit feedback, questions, or suggestions via email. You'll also find a link at the top that will take you to our Discord channel. So if you have questions, you need some help uh, quicker, you can come in there and myself, the moderators, and a lot of the community members are very, very experienced with Minecraft, especially Sky Factory. There's a lot of folks who can help you out. So we'd love to have you in there as well. Uh, but on the website, you'll also find a lot of other cool things like access and links to all my social media accounts, all my videos and tutorials, my streaming schedule, as well as the ODG store where you can find cool Only Draven Gaming merchandise. That is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.